What is up guys, it's Jacko and I'm back with another video. I don't know what I'm doing. As you've seen by the title, it's a topic, look, it's an awkward topic, it can be a fun topic, it can be an exciting topic, it can be a very sad topic. First dates. I don't know if you guys know this, but I'm pretty sure there's a UK show of first dates, which is very funny, but there's also an Australian show. And unlike other dating shows that I've like reviewed, like Love Island or Bachelor, this is freaking disgusting, where I think everyone's just going on there for fame. This is different, because you get like literally 10 minutes on camera in one episode. So you're not going on there to get famous. You might be going in there as a, for a laugh, or like genuinely trying to meet other people. Pretty much what they do is they take a camera to your first date, could be more awkward, and then film you interacting with this stranger you've never met. So like, I think it's the funniest thing. So we're gonna look at more of what not to do on a first date than uh, what to do. So I'm gonna help you guys through, because you know, I'm a, I'm a bit of a, you know, I don't know, ask Sophie how we went on our first date. It was actually pretty successful, I think. That's why I'm still here, you know? Anyway, I'm going to help you guys through. I'm going to watch some maybe awkward interactions or the funniest moments or, or just like react to some first dates episodes. So let's get right into it. Most awkward end to a date ever. First Dates Australia. Now this episode, I haven't watched it yet, but I saw an, a preview ad on it. And it was just like the other day. All right, let's watch. watching Snoopy together. Um, it's really about like two people who have a full cup. Um, that energy is like overflowing. And then when you have an interaction with somebody else. What is love to you? Two people with a full cup. Good start, bud. Yeah. All of us express and experience love in different ways in yeah. a relationship. So like. She's, she's looking down going, what have I got myself into? Like, because like at the end of the date they get to choose if they want to go on a second date or not and they literally have to sit there next to each other and be like um no i don't want to see britney again she's a bitch <laughs> yes oh, i'd love to see britney again and britney's like oh he's super nerd i don't want to see him no more <laughs> no yuck Ew. give me someone with like big muscles you know actually i want to go on love island Oh my god, yeah, she's like, shut up, mate. About the same, right? Yeah. So, like, if I if I connect with somebody that has a love language, it's like gifts. Like, sure, I can buy stuff for some, but it's because it's not my natural, like, it's not my natural way of showing how I love someone. Yeah. She just so, like wants so it to shut that, up. Right? No. <laughs> this is so awkward. Yeah, nice. Um, cool. Okay, so this is obviously the end of the date. So, like, this guy's looking at, like, this guy's got the bill. And, like, usually, you know, look, even if you didn't like the chick, and I'd be on a date, I'd be like, look, you know what, I'll, I'll cover it. You know, that's the gentleman thing to do. But I have a feeling that this is not what's going to happen. Grab your drinks, and, um, and I'll grab the... Let's see. What do we got? I can grab... Do you want to do, like, a split with your drinks and stuff? She's just like, I can't believe this guy's doing this. As I said, like, as a dude, like, you all, you offer to pay anyway, even if you didn't like the chick. Like, you're going on a date with her, you, you gotta, like, make her feel kind of special at least, even if you didn't like it, then just say, bye, I never see her again, that's fine, but, like, this guy's, I'll just get, uh, do you want to split the drinks and then I'll pay for what I got and you can just pay for the rest? And she's just like, asshole. Like, this is awkward, this is already awkward. God, kill me immediately. <laughs> Kill me immediately. Okay. <laughs> Look, even the waiter was like, dude, what the heck? All right, tip one, guys. Males, always offer to pay for girls' dinner and food. Always. This is like tips, like first date tips, for sure. I'm, we're going through this, learning from these people's mistake. Always offer to pay. Then, like, maybe when you're in a relationship, you can, like, switch it up a bit. Like, me and Soph, we... It, it's just, it, like, you share it. But I pay more than often than not, because I'm like, I insist, I'll do it. But like then she, she be like, no, you got dinner, I'll get lunch or whatever, you know. So it works out like that. But on a first date, it's just, don't do what this guy. That's did. interesting. <laughs> um, let me see. So maybe it's easy if I just do what the gentleman had and then I'll yeah minus. Where's my wallet? That old chestnut. <laughs> had that before. <laughs> yeah. What's he doing? 
Might actually be outside, strangely enough. What do you mean your wallet's outside? He's actually pulling the whole, I forgot my wallet so she would pay. The whole, oh my god, I forgot my wallet, blah blah blah. Like, I think it might have been like a ploy to try to like, make me pay for him. Yes, Chris. Libby. You do have to settle the check. Yeah, of course. Would you like to take my cell phone? It's worth about $1,300. Would you like to take my cell phone? It's worth $1,300. This guy's actual douche. Male or female, don't do this if you're on a first date. Whatever that guy's doing, do not do it. She's handling herself quite well. There's nothing more awkward for her. She's like, literally kill me, get me out of here. So, yeah. And this guy talks with his eyes. Yes, my, my idea of love is actually um, when you have two cups and they're full and they overflow with love. And if you like gifts, I can buy you gifts, but it's just not normal. I, I rather touch you. To love you, you know. She's like, uh uh, I'd rather die. <laughs> Straight up, that's when you know you've messed it up. Let's see if we can get another one in. He's having the ribs. Okay. So we're gonna share. The moment your date bails without you knowing. This is a big problem. I like to pick off of other people's plates. She's gonna have the ribs, and then can I have a steak, please? We didn't agree that, but okay. You better have it medium rare. That's the compromise. You tell him how he wants it. There we go. Spinach or chips? Or mashed potato? Chips. Chips. Okay. That guy didn't even get to order his own meal, that chick's like. I get my own way every time. Every time? Every time. Every girl wants their own way. Every girl wants to be treated like a princess. Okay, this girl's not going far. Girls, don't do this on a first date. Who wants to eat off your plate? <laughs> It looks like a nice lab, but she looks like a mess. Like giving you compliments and stuff and just making you feel good. Oh god, here we go. didn't make me feel very good. All these dating shows have the sad, sad music. Like... Well... When I was 18, I went on a date. He was wearing Crocs. It made me feel very good, you know. I dressed up, I got my high heels, so I got my boobs out for him, and he was wearing Crocs. I just want a good boy, you know. Someone who doesn't wear Crocs, that's all I'm asking. I don't even fashion that. It's a horrifying experience for me. It was. I'll never forget it. I swear, if another guy wears Crocs around me, I'll just break down. I'll just break. Excuse me, I'm sorry. <laughs> Past exes, like with their like, horrible little comments about, I don't know. You being a bitch? Oh, okay, this guy looks like a real nice guy, but she's just kind of like... Okay, why did that end? Five years. It ended, I'll tell you why it ended, mate, because he escaped. He got out, he got out of the chains, and he legged it, never came back. Some guys prefer you to be like, at home. Making a sandwich. No guy expects a girl to be I home making sandwiches. Girl, That's just so bad. I didn't have very good self-esteem, I guess. Pretty sure guys want a girl who's like got their own thing going and they've got their own aspirations. <laughs> That's what they want. I love shopping. You spend a lot of money on your outfits. No. Okay, in the comments right now, I want you to pause it and I want you to say which one of them's bailing, the guy or the girl. Because he just said he doesn't like shopping and she's just cracked it. But I reckon he's like, she just ordered my meal. I need to leave. I reckon it's the dude, but we'll see. Hi, babe. Oh, she's so... Yeah, she's, uh, not rude, apparently. Well, I think you're too bad. I think if you're out, you should put your phone away. Babe, don't I've realised there's a lot of opposites between us? Maybe you need someone to teach you that you don't always get your own way. Oh, she's, she's leaving. She left. I just want to go. Poor guy. I just don't like him. Does he know you're going? What a bitch. That poor guy. He looks so nice. Yeah, no, it's all good. Okay, good. Damn, you should date the waiter. She's like, right. If I was him, I'd say, you want to join me? Hey, you want to join me? Anyway, um, as you can see, there's some definitely do's and don'ts in that that we learned today um, about what to do on a first date and what not to do. Definitely don't be the dude or the second chick. Oh my god, I don't know what was going on there. I think personally, don't call them the wrong name. If you're a dude, offer to pay for the bill. If you're a girl, offer to, but let the guy pay. Use your manners, open the door for the girl. 
you know? Girls don't go in there and be like, I get what I want because I'm a hot whammon. <laughs> because those whammon don't really get what they want, they just get who will it put up with them. If you know what I mean. Be polite, be nice, be happy, smile. My first day tips, you are watching First Date Reviews with the Jack Air. And um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Subscribe to my channel because we're like posting random stuff all the time. Not all the time, but I need to post more, but so there'll be more content. But um, stay tuned. Peace out. Hey town. Yeah. I am the one. And comment what you want me to do because I'm confused. <laughs> I am the one, the way your son don't need a gun to get respect up on the street.